people always ask, why do you sell a site that uh, you don't need to do anything for, right? And um, what happened was my blogging business was really starting to take off. I'd launched my first course and it was doing really well. And in my mind, I'm like, this is when I'm thinking I need to mentally focus. So even though I was just being an advisor, when you have two miniature motorcycle sites as well as a video on that subject, uh, I actually bought another community forum by that stage on rap music, um, which as a case study didn't do nearly as well. It broke even. None of my renovations improved the site. Uh, it's not as exciting a story to, to, to tell. I ended up selling it for the exact same price I bought it at. Nothing really happened there, but it was still another asset that I own. So I have, I'm thinking rap music, I'm thinking miniature motorcycles, I'm thinking all my essay things. editing company. It's hard. I've got, uh, it's all going in there. So I'm like, you know what I love? I love content creation, and coaching and creating these courses. It's working, I'm gonna liquidate. And that's when I sold the essay editing company. That was a hundred thousand dollar deal. Um, there's another story there on how I sold that one. Sold the miniature sites. They ended up going to, uh, yeah, I don't know if you know Will Swain. He's a Brisbane-based marketing results guy. Anyway, I met him now. He connected me with someone. Eventually, bought the miniature motorcycle site. So I don't think I ever used Flippa to sell, only to buy from. And all my sales came from the network either within the site itself or my own friendship, personal business network. But yeah, I liquidated everything and went all in on, on the blogging space. And, uh, you know, ever since then I still That's carefully so well. watch. Yeah. I mean, it's a great story and, uh, it's, it's, um, I'm still tempted. I think as I mentioned off air before we, we spoke, <laughs> I, I'm still subscribed to the Flippa newsletter and I just see these sites and I look at the numbers. They're not as good as back when I was really into it, but they're still good. You still see something earning two grand a month selling for like 20 grand and I'm like that's 10 months of okay it's not it's revenue not profit so maybe it's not you know 10 months it might be 20 months or 30 months if it actually you know does what it says but I still think it's such a great opportunity you know ah uh, there is so many opportunities and if it, on flipper there's a there are a lot of sites and they're tightening up so we've had everybody that hasn't listened go back to episode number five I think I had uh, it was Blake Hutchison from the, who's the CEO of the came on and told me that they're tightening things up. Whereas previously you'd get emails, you're like it's X making X amount per month and it's only cost this. And you're like, wow. Um, there's so many things that tie back into what you were saying is like you, you were wanting to buy a site in the, or a forum, right? And you're like, Oh wow, these are going so quick. So you, you change your strategy a little bit and became a little bit more risk prone and I wanted to say to everybody that's all my community and, and everybody that listens to this is this is what they tend we tend to do is we tend to go oh like I need to be quicker especially if you're going to buy sites at the 10 to 20 30k range because there's people out there that that's where everybody wants to dip their toe in where they're not buying a startup but they're buying an actual business 